Okay, continuing on with the waterfowl portion of the real-time edits. Um, here's a red-breasted merganser I photographed recently while running a workshop for Bufflehead, actually. So, on there we go. Computer caught up. Just going to offset this a little bit. Not much to do. Just want to make sure my horizon's straight back there. And I think that's a good starting point. Exposure up just a little bit. I'm going to brighten up those shadows so I get more detail. The bird was kind of in shade. The sun was just starting to peek through here. Meanwhile, it was like nailing this island out there. Uh, so uh, let's see. Then I'll do a little gradient, darken the foreground, bring the highlights down on that, make sure I maintain some blue in that. And I think that's about it. Let's go into Photoshop. Okay. I don't have, oh, I was just, I was just going to say I don't have anything to clone, but then there's this giant yellow spot back there in the horizon. So let me smooth that out so it's less obnoxious, doesn't stand out as much. Well, I guess it wasn't that obnoxious. It took me a minute to find it. And then maybe lastly, I'll just lighten up that one really dark wave there. And oops, got a smaller brush for this one. There we go, we'll just soften those up. All right, that seems pretty good. Uh, this is nice and tack sharp, which is always great. All right, so the sun wasn't hitting the water here, and with the warm white balance that I like on the bird and the background, the water isn't quite as rich and blue as I'd like, so I'm going to darken it a little and add a little bit of blue and cyan to it to really kind of richen up that watercolor and then I'm going to remove it from the bird and it's really going to hopefully make the bird stand out even more because I'll have a little bit of color contrast to work with there so let's fill that in entirely there we'll kind of blend it smoother on the transition and make sure I didn't miss any area that's good and then let's zoom in here and take it off of the bird and the bill and all that just going to stick with a soft brush here um, because the adjustment is subtle I don't have to get that precise if I was going to make that adjustment of the water darker and much more blue then I'd probably get more precise with it but in this circumstance I'm just kind of roughing it out here to remove that effect off the bird itself then I'm going to throw another curves adjustment layer on lighten add a little contrast because I really want the bird's head to pop here so let's get rid of that effect everywhere and then just paint it in there you go you can see that's really just adding that contrast and man the sun was just starting to hit that and let's really show off this amazing serrated bill that this red-breasted merganser has all right next up let's enhance the eye so real subtle dodge around the lighter portion there and then I'll hit that sun Kind of catching in there and then i'm going to actually do another contrast layer that just brings the blacks back down to really kind of richen up that pupil and actually i'm going to darken the kind of that ring around the eye just to really help the eye there we go yeah it's really standing out now um boy not much else to do to this normally i would maybe even warm that up but it's so golden back there you know and i I toyed with the idea originally of making the horizon sky more kind of blue. So that band of um, golden grasses back there, the brown grasses and the golden sun. So that band would kind of show up a little bit more because you can see how it's kind of just blending into the, um, the sky there, right? Uh, so I was thinking of doing something like that. That's a little too red. But I think I actually just like it all blending in. I don't think I like what that does to it. Yeah, I think I like that better. Maybe, let's see what like 30% of that does. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you play around with things and they don't look as good as you think they might. Um, let me just get rid of some of those dark water lines there. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's save it and then I'll show you compare. All right, final image in Lightroom, original image in Lightroom, big difference there. Yeah.
There we go. Oh, sorry, this thing's just being so slow. That's it. All right, so look, huge difference, right? The bird's standing out way more on the left-hand side here. Color's much more rich, vibrant, uh, but not overdone. It's right on the verge of being overdone, though, especially the beak. I may have gone just a little bit too light on that, but I think on its own it'll stand fine. Uh, it's only kind of when I compare it to the original, and yes, I agree. When I see this on its own now, everything looks fine. Just a nice clean image and some really nice light. Uh, but it's really amazing how that light you know, isn't quite as impressive here. Um, the image is maybe the tiniest bit underexposed. Although if I exposed more for the bird, then this water would have probably started getting overexposed and maybe wouldn't have looked as nice when I darkened it um, in post like it did here. So, you know, I kind of think the exposure was right on and, uh, you know, really happy with this. Just a nice, solid, clean portrait and not a lot of editing to do. So thanks for watching. Another real time.